Hey everybody, I've got one more quick video in ZBrush 4 Release 5. This will be my last video for the night and I'm excited to show you. Now this has to do with the uh, transpose tool. Now you can move, scale, or rotate and everyone knows how to use this. Uh, the center, I don't know acts as the starting point and then you can on the outer lines you can outer circles you can move it wherever you want to and if you click on the middle you move the whole gizmo and then if you click on the other side the other end acts as the base point and these lines snap to you know, vertical, top, right, down, left. So snap, 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 click. Yeah, that's pretty fancy. Uh, and you can scale and scale uniformly, scale up scale down 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 fun right it takes a little bit of practice uh, rotating is fun it rotates uh, on whatever axis you've got wherever your line is pointed or pointed in. Now that is uh, got some depth so when I rotate this it's going to rotate along that. Oh that's nice. Fun. Yeah, anyway. Okay, control Z, control Z. Okay, that's good. Now one cool thing, new thing about the transpose tool is this white circle up top you can rotate the entire canvas so click it's rotating everything if I had 300 objects they'd all rotate just like everything else is and if you click on the white circle the camera aligns to wherever you're headed click click so yeah fancy I think everybody should use this while working in ZBrush and I'm so excited to use it along with all the other tools I've uh, illustrated today